In this video, we're going to go over the external and internal anatomy of a monocotyledon stem. The monocot stem is usually herbaceous, but in some species can be woody. The base of the stem is called the crown. From here, the stem extends upwards in a series of nodes and internodes. The stem is usually unbranched. From each node, the leaf forms a sheath going up the stem before moving out away from the stem. The top of the stem culminates with the flowering organ. Within the stem, like in all other plant organs, there are three types of tissue, dermal, ground, and vascular tissue. If we take a cross section through the stem, we will find the outer layer consists of the epidermis. This is the dermal tissue. The epidermis is covered in a cuticle layer that functions in protecting the stem. The ground tissue within the stem is not organized into a cortex and pith like in the dicot stem. Instead, the ground tissue consists of a hypodermis, which is made up of several layers of sclerenchyma cells, which are strong, thick cells that provide structural support to the stem. The ground tissue also consists of a continuous mass of parenchyma cells. The vascular tissue consists of the vascular bundles that are found scattered in the ground tissue as opposed to arranged in a ring as seen in dicot stems. The vascular bundles are enclosed in a bundle sheath made of sclerenchyma cells and consists of the xylem and the phloem. The xylem is involved in the transport of water from the roots to the stems, whilst the phloem is involved in the movement of food products made in the leaves down through the rest of the plant. The vascular bundles are considered collateral as the phloem is found exterior to the xylem, and they are also considered closed because there is no vascular cambium separating the xylem and the phloem. This lack of vascular cambium also means that in most monocots, secondary growth does not occur. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, be sure to subscribe for more videos like this one.